Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the emotion in our harmonics. Now we've done many, many videos on fundamentals in harmonics. And you can see that there's a direct relationship in this graphic between fundamentals and harmonics. That a fundamental of 32 is a 64. Cycle issue can be 125. Can be all the way up the road, as you can see in the graphic. So that's why I'm always telling people to treat the fundamentals of their room first. That's the low end of the room first. Because that will minimize the issues we have in the harmonics, which are the middle and high frequencies. So I want to relay to you a, a personal experience that I've had here with a new DAC that I got. Well, one of the reasons I bought it is because it has a toggle switch on it, which allows me to go from solid state to tubes, which is really great because I can get a tube sound and I can get a solid state sound at the flick of the switch. And it's pretty neat when you flick the tube switch, the light flashes, which tells you that the tube is heating. It's not, you know, fully operational. But you can hear as the tube heats. You can hear the transition. You can hear the harmonic change in the presentation. Voice, horns, organ, those are really, really amazing because those are high harmonic instruments. So it's real interesting when you sit in your field and you, and you flick it on tube and it takes maybe 10 seconds to warm up that you can hear the change. And there's definitely more emotion for me in the harmonics, you know, because the organ, the Leslie, everything just the tails, you know, the, the heads and the tails of each note, the fundamental and the harmonic of each note as it moves through the room and strikes the microphone. There's just more, more there, more energy to relate to. And if there's more music to relate to, there's more emotion, you know, because we capture and feel what the artist uh, is doing. So our goal, remember, in the room is to let the harmonics and the fundamentals live and die on their own volition. And we don't usually get that a lot. So if we have the low frequencies in the room and they're not managed correctly, you know, we get those big peaks in response. And then right in the mid-range, you'll get a dip. Then you may get another peak. All of this and this is related to this. So if we bring this down, these come down. It's like one big family. Harmonics are like the cousins of the fundamentals. The fundamentals are the parents and the harmonics are the kids. So everything has to be balanced. Everything has to have a right to live and die on its own volition without, you know, uh, getting canceled in some form or fashion uh, with noise in the room. So really look to the harmonics in your room. Really look to managing that energy correctly, but start with the fundamentals first. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.